Okay, so we have a new topic today. Do you have an idea what it is? I'm sure you are as excited as me. I actually have been waiting for the moment that I can finally share this with you. So are you ready? Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, you guys. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Katie, and today we have another topic, and I'll be talking to you about Canva text effects. So I'm sure you have been waiting for that, and I have been waiting for this to share with you as well. So now let's go. I have prepared some words right here. So I could not think of a better word than Canva. <laughs> all right, so they're all um, side by side right now next to each other really to put it um, more politically correct. Now I'm gonna be implementing the text effects that I'm talking to you about so that you can kind of compare what the effects are. So how do you do that? You have to highlight the text and then go to the formatting toolbar. The formatting toolbar is the line where you can actually see the font, the font size and that stuff. So we're gonna click on effects and here's what you can see. Now the text effects that you will see would be shadow. We will click on that right now. There you go. Now here, you can adjust the offset, direction, blur, transparency, as well as the color. So we will try that today. So for the offset, the lesser the value, the closer it gets to the original text. All right? The more you increase the value, the more the shadow will show up. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it quite clearly. Let me go ahead and increase the size of my presentation right here. So you can see the effect. Let's try 200% so you can see it. There you go. And for the direction, you can actually adjust it. All right, so when you go to negatives, it goes to the top. And then when you go to the positive, towards the positive, it goes to the button. And then to the left and, of course, to the right. There you just have to adjust whichever direction you want your shadow to be. And the blur, if you want for the shadow to be blurred, then you can adjust. Of course, it starts with zero. And the more you increase the blur, the more um, the shadow does not appear or does not appear opaque that is and then the color you can change as well so if you change the color here the shadow changes all right now if you want to change your text of course you have to go back to your formatting toolbar so that you can change the text color so that's how you can play up with the shadow when you are creating your designs. So we're not gonna change anything right now and let's move to the next text effect. The next one would be lift, okay? So lift look like this when it's 50%. So you can only adjust the intensity. So the more intense you get, the more of like a shadow or a lifting effect it gives you. So when you use blending options in Canva, it's like the drop shadow, but only it's at the back and not on an angle. All right, so we're just using um, the intensity here as 100%. So if you lower that down to 0%, you almost see nothing anymore because of course it's no longer intense, so that's not visible to the eye already. So maybe ideally you can peg it at around 30 to 40 percent so that it looks um, a bit realistic all right now the third one we go to hollow and this one is one of my favorites actually so if i click this of course it's self-explanatory the color in the middle of the letters will actually disappear. Now this works best for um, fonts like this. I would not recommend Hollow if you are using thin fonts because of course, what will it show you? <laughs> All right, so again here, you can adjust the thickness. So by default, it's at 50%. So if you want the letters or the outline to be um, a lot on the thinner side, you can um, drag your slider towards the left. Now, if you want your 
outline to be thicker, then you have to drag that towards 100% or towards the right side. So I think I like um, 30, between 30 to 50 for this. So it's up to you, whatever you like and whatever your preference would be. Now, the next effect would be splice. I'm sure you have seen me use this so many times in the past. In fact, some of the thumbnails of my video here in YouTube actually used splice. So I like it very much. My two favorite text effects would be hello and splice and shadow comes third. Okay, so let's go ahead and click splice right here. And like shadow, there would be different options here to adjust. So the first one would be thickness, which is pegged at 50% by default, and then offset. So again, you know already what offset is, like how far the shadow um, is from the original letter. Okay, and then direction is, of course, self-explanatory. It's where that little shadow will appear. Okay, so I like, again, like I mentioned earlier, I like it on the right side because I read from left to right. So I'm sure you do too. So that's why I like it that way because it actually fakes a direction. So it gives us um, a little bit of something to look forward to while we are reading. And then, of course, you can change the color if you want to. Here we have light pink. We can change it to black if you want. There you go. Um, that's too stark. So you can adjust the transparency if you want there, but it's going to adjust the transparency overall, not just the shadow. So if you want that it's not too dark like that, of course, you can change the color to probably gray. There you go. This is one of my favorite combinations as well, gray and another solid color. All right, so there, that's how splice looks like. And then for echo, let's choose the next word right here. And if we click on echo, watch what happens. There, there will be three layers. So it's like putting one layer of the word on top of another one on top of another one. So the darkest would be the first layer, um, which is the technically the layer on top. And then the middle color is just in the, in the middle. And then the lightest of the three is actually at the bottom. All right, so that's how um, echo looks like. And of course, you can adjust the offset. So the distance, again, from the original um, composition. And then, of course, the direction. You can also adjust it. All right. Now, um, aside from that, of course, you can change the color. So if you want to change it like that, um, if you change the color, it's only the shadows that will be affected. If you want to change the original layer, then you have to go back to the formatting toolbar, which is this area right here. Okay, so let's go on to the next word. Now, the next text effect is actually glitch. So if I click that, you will see that there will be several layers. In this case, there's um, additional pink and blue. And you can change the color. You can... Um, opt to have blue and red if you want to but it's not that obvious so maybe we can change the color in the formatting toolbar so that we can change the original pink that we have um if say we pick this one there it's a little more obvious you can see the glitch effect right at the back so to go back there you have to click on effects again and again you can adjust the offset and also the direction so same thing, you just have to play around with it until you get the right combination that you want. All right, now the next text effect would be neon. This is actually something that I was looking forward to. I love neons, but the neon effect right here underwhelmed me actually. So I'm not sure if you like it, but let's go ahead and try that I'm using this word right here. So I'm gonna click neon, there you go. It, underwhelmed me really it's not the neon that i was expecting so i'm generally happy with the rest except for the neon i'm not sure if you can adjust but there you go this is how it looks if if the intensity is set to one and if you set it to 100 then that's 
that that's the effect so i'm really not loving it i'm actually um expecting that it's not gonna be a, a bursting neon light so i was just expecting for just the outline and then outside would be a little bit of a neon reflection but i don't know um i'll play around with it and probably create another demo on how to use it but for now it's not one of my favorites i'm sorry canva but i'm gonna tell you right now um let's and decrease the size so I can show you which ones are my favorite. So I like, of course, shadow. But the first one that I really, really love would be splice. This one. So this takes the cake. First place. <laughs> and then second would be hollow. And then the third one would be shadow. So there you go. Those are the text effects that are brand new here in Canva. And I'm sure you love using all of this. So let me know in the comments box if you are really excited to be using this already. And what are your favorites? Maybe you can share your top three with me as well. So I shared the top three effects that I really like. And I would love to know your top three effects that you like as well. So let's talk in the comment section. And I'm looking forward to be recording another video for you guys. And let me know if you have any questions, if you want me to demo on something, I would love to do that. So give me an idea, send in your requests, and I'll make sure to find time to record and produce one for you. So that's it for me for today. Those are the Canva text effects that are brand new here in Canva. Go ahead and try it and show me your projects. Send me the links and all that so I can take a peek. <laughs> in the meantime, you take care wherever you are. Have a great day or night. Bye now.